What's up guys, Nick here from AR12 Gaming, back in GTA 5, talking about Watch Dogs today. So there's not going to be actually any Watch Dogs footage in this video, just in fear of copyright and all of that stuff. Didn't want to mess around with any of that, so I'm just going to have some random GTA footage in the background, uh, just so you can enjoy some stuff with your, with your eyes. Anyways, there were three modes that the guys over at Ubisoft just released for Watch Dogs Online. Uh, so, basically, if you don't know anything about Watch Dogs, the online service is going to be very cool. It's a seamless online. So if I compare this to GTA, which is probably what the majority of you guys know or understand, uh, the way GTA Online works is you're in your single player world, pause your game, go over online, then you have this long loading process and things like that. In Watch Dogs, apparently there is none of that. There is no like loading in and out of worlds. You're all in this one sort of world universe uh, together online pretty much all the time, except if you don't have online, you can still play and things like that. Um, but anyways, there were three game modes that they just released or announced that has looked really, really cool. There's like this eight, nine minute video talking about it. I will link it in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But I'm just going to run through what they are really quick and should be fun because I've been pumping up Watch Dogs for like over a month now and I really wanted to talk about it, make some videos about it. So if there's anything else you actually guys want to see on Watch Dogs, let me know that in the comments down below. Anyways, let's jump into these three game modes in uh, Watch Dogs Online. I want to say GTA Online so badly. Watch Dogs Online. The first mode is online hacking contracts. So they didn't actually specify what this mode was exactly, but it's basically like you can be hacked at any time. There are contracts on people, and what you have to do is hack them. Uh, so the example that they gave is there are these two people. One guy hacks the other guy uh, in this town square, and when that guy is being hacked, he's looking around the, the, the center where he is. There's like this little radius that he's in uh, that the hacker must be in. So he's looking around this entire area looking for this hacker and he eventually finds him and chases him down and the guy ends up getting away. So what it is, I get from it at least, is sort of like um, a guy is going to be hacking you, you have to go and find him, kill him, and you get some points for that. Uh, so basically this entire mode is for skill points and things like that. Uh, skill points can basically, you can use skills in the world I, I believe, something like that. Anyways, that mode looks very cool, but the even cooler mode for me is the CTO, CTOS, that's basically like the operating system, uh, mobile companion app. So if you have an iPhone, I believe Android is also having an app and, and the Windows guys are also having an app. Don't quote me on that though. Um, they're having a companion app. So if you don't know what companion apps do, basically you can play your game and control your game from an app. So what this particular companion app does is what you'll do is you'll start up a race versus a player who's on their Xbox, PS3, whatever. Uh, PS4, um, and you'll start up a race versus, them. except you won't actually be playing in the race. The person who's driving will be given a number of checkpoints, and you will be controlling everything hackable. So you'll be controlling the police, you'll be controlling helicopters, bridges, uh, there are these water tank things, everything like that you'll be able to control, so this person does not get due to his destination. So it seems very, very cool. I, I'm super pumped for that mode. That will be so much fun. Like, you can just play. If you have internet anywhere on your phone, you can be playing Watch Dogs and just screwing someone over in their race. It seems really cool. That's the, road, that's the, that's the game mode that I feel like is going to be very cool. Anyways, moving along, the third and final game mode that they announced was Competitive Decryption Combat. The, th the sense that I get from this is it's sort of like an oddball match. If you ever played a Halo game, what oddball was is you'd go run, get the ball, and then hold it for as long as possible. This is similar to that, not exactly though. So what you have to do is you have to get a file and decrypt it, and that is how you win. So there's a file in a building, that's what they showed. There's this file in a building, there are two teams going up against each other. You have to get this file, and then you have to get together with your team and decrypt it. Now the other team at this point is going to be coming at you and attacking you, and they'll be running at you and stuff trying to kill you. So you have to be fighting them off and decrypting it at the same time. So basically what you do when you decrypt it is it's basically just a waiting game. So you're going to have to wait. They didn't actually say in the video, but it's probably like 30, maybe two, two minutes, 30, 30 seconds, two minutes. That's what I would guess uh, if I was making it. But um, decrypting it, something like that. Once you've decrypted it, you win and you get skill points for it. So that is another game mode that I feel like is very cool. Uh, but anyways, like I said, 
I'll link to the video that I'm discussing in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Basically, it's the guys from Ubisoft running through the online modes uh, that I just spoke about. And they show it in depth, and it's really, really cool. I've been so pumped for Watch Dogs. The only thing that I'm sort of worried about is if it doesn't live up to expectations. Because people have been hyping up this game for so long now. It's been getting delayed. Everything like that. So I'm just worried that it doesn't live up to its hype. But we will see. What do you guys think about Watch Dogs? Let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely be reading them. I'll be, I'll be replying to most of them. Uh, if there's anything else you should want me to talk about in Watch Dogs, definitely let me know that as well in the comments down below. Uh, and before you ask, will I be doing a Let's Play? Maybe. But I have some videos idea video ideas planned for Watch Dogs when that comes out right away. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, subscribe, share with your friends and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, thank you again very, very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.